Greetings, folks. Joseph Kursky here with you. I'm always talking about on these videos the relevance of spatial thinking and geotechnologies to our everyday lives, to society as a whole, and also to our communities. And this is sadly and grimly a notable example, and that is that the Center for System Science and Engineering, CSSE, at Johns Hopkins University has created this coronavirus operations dashboard. These are made with ESRI's ArcGIS geotechnology tools. And this shows the grim situation that's going on right now, not only in China, but as you can see, in many parts of the world. Now this operations dashboard is a good illustration of why we do mapping, why we do spatial analysis, because they are actually helping in this case, the situation. They're helping planners and medical people to get a handle on this situation and get it straightened out before it becomes even worse. So in an operations dashboard, as you can see, you can see the number of confirmed cases as of this moment. When you happen to be looking at this, they will these numbers will be different. But you've got also over here the sad details of the number of deaths and then the people that have recovered as well over here you can see the the changes over time and you can also change the base maps to whatever you want to 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 display in here because you have access to the base maps in ArcGIS online you have the legend here you also have bookmarks that you can used to go to specific places, for example, Australia, and then uh, back to China. So an operations dashboard, let's talk about that in a moment, but just a couple of other coronavirus dashboards. Here's one that is just for Hong Kong. So you can see in this particular one, the details. The, a GIS is a mapped database. Think of it that way. So you've got a database behind every one of these points, lines, and polygons on your map inside the operations dashboard. Here's another one. It's called a story map. And the story map in this case talks about what the coronavirus is. It refers to that dashboard as we just looked at it's embedded inside this story map but the story map goes into more detail it's got some interactive maps you can create story maps for something that you're interested in that's one of the powers of this it's not just looking at what other people are doing but in this case it talks about hey what can you do about the coronavirus and how can you prepare and how can you how can you take precautions uh, i have a tutorial here on walkability in a community. Uh, this is obviously on a different theme, but if you look at this, how walkable is your community? I've got a survey in here that uh, allows you to input data in terms of if your community is friendly or unfriendly, where is it located, submit a photo. I also have a interactive web map, obviously on a less serious topic than the coronavirus, but looking at, hey, uh, what about walkability or, or the lack thereof and so on. The other thing that I wanted to show you folks is that inside here I also have an operations dashboard. So if I click in there I've got the same sort of interactivity. I've got a different base map as the default but I've got some charts here showing the pedestrian friendliness or unfriendliness and the different responses that people have given. I've got 303 points in my walkability survey right now, a legend, an image, and a couple of uh, graphics there. So this operations dashboard I created. The point is you can create an operations dashboard quite easily inside ArcGIS Online. There's plenty of tutorials, step-by-step -step instructions, and this one right here shows the power of, I think, even more so than my operations dashboard for my story map or for my walkability. It shows you that these aren't just exercises in mapping. It's great to know the technology and the tools and the power, but the the reason why people are using these and why they are creating these and deploying them and sharing them is so that people around the world, in this case, for the coronavirus, 
are looking at, okay, well, where is it and, and how can I prepare and maybe where should I avoid traveling to right now and so on. So that's the situation with an operations dashboard. Again, you can create your own, but I invite you to use this and take care out there, folks.